Have you ever wondered what would happen if Earth's magnetic poles decided to flip? Well, it's not as far-fetched as it might sound. In fact, it's happened before. Welcome to the intriguing world of geomagnetic reversal, a phenomenon where the North and South magnetic poles switch places. Throughout Earth's long history, this switcheroo has occurred numerous times, with the last major flip happening about 780,000 years ago. It's a natural and gradual process, sometimes taking thousands of years to complete, but the question that has scientists scratching their heads is not if, but when it will happen next. So, imagine waking up one day in a world where your compass needle points south instead of north. A fascinating yet slightly unsettling thought, isn't it? How might this affect us and are we ready for another geomagnetic reversal? To understand the potential impacts, we need to delve into the science of geomagnetic reversal. This phenomenon is a change in a planet's magnetic field, such that the positions of magnetic north and magnetic south become interchanged. But what causes this flip? The Earth's magnetic field, also known as the geomagnetic field, originates from the core of our planet. This core is composed of two parts, a solid inner core and a liquid outer core, both predominantly made of iron and nickel. The outer core, being in a molten state, is constantly moving due to the Earth's rotation. This movement of the molten iron generates electric currents, which in turn create the Earth's magnetic field. Now the question arises, how does this lead to a geomagnetic reversal? Well, the exact mechanism is still a subject of ongoing scientific research. However, it's widely accepted that these reversals are connected to the dynamics of the molten outer core. Changes in the flow of molten iron can alter the electric currents, which consequently change the magnetic field. Over thousands of years, these alterations can accumulate, causing the magnetic poles to gradually shift until they eventually swap places entirely. But how do we know when a reversal is happening or when it has happened in the past? The answer lies in the rocks. As molten rocks cool and solidify, they preserve a record of the Earth's magnetic field at the time of their formation. By studying the magnetic properties of ancient rocks, scientists can detect past geomagnetic reversals and estimate their frequency. In the grand scheme of Earth's history, geomagnetic reversals are not uncommon. They've happened numerous times, roughly every several hundred thousand years. The last reversal, known as the Brunus Matuyama reversal, occurred approximately 780,000 years ago. So now that we know what causes these reversals, let's explore what happens during one. Imagine a world where compasses point south instead of north. That's just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the effects of a geomagnetic reversal. Firstly, let's think about navigation. Modern society relies heavily on magnetic fields for navigation, from the compass in your hiking backpack to the sophisticated systems guiding our airplanes and ships. A reversal would mean all these systems would need recalibration or even a complete overhaul. It's not just our human-made systems that would be affected either. Many animals, from birds to sea turtles, use Earth's magnetic field for migration and orientation. A pole reversal could potentially disrupt their roots and behaviors, impacting ecosystems in ways we can't fully predict. Secondly, we must consider wildlife. You see, the Earth's magnetic field isn't just for navigation. It also protects us and every other living creature from harmful cosmic radiation. This radiation, coming from the sun and other celestial bodies, is largely deflected by our magnetic field. But during a pole reversal, this protective shield could weaken, allowing more radiation to reach the Earth's surface. This could have serious implications for health and safety, potentially increasing the risk of cancer and other radiation-related illnesses. Lastly, let's talk about cosmic radiation. Our planet's magnetic field extends far beyond our atmosphere, forming a protective shield known as the magnetosphere. This barrier helps to deflect harmful cosmic radiation, but during a geomagnetic reversal, this shield could weaken, allowing more radiation to penetrate our atmosphere. This could increase the risk of damage to our technology, from satellites in space to the electrical grid on the ground. This, in turn, could have wide-ranging implications, from interruptions in telecommunications to potential power outages. While these impacts sound daunting, the question remains, how prepared are we for such an event? The idea of a pole reversal might sound alarming, but we've got some good news. When it comes to our readiness for a geomagnetic reversal, there's much to consider. First, it's important to remember that these events are not sudden, catastrophic occurrences. Rather, they occur over incredibly long timescales, often taking thousands of years to complete. 
This slow pace of change gives us, as a species, time to adapt and prepare. We are not defenseless bystanders in the face of Earth's magnetic whims. Our scientists are constantly monitoring the planet's magnetic field, studying its behavior, and trying to predict its future actions. This ongoing research helps us understand the processes at play, and gives us a better chance of preparing for any potential impacts. Several initiatives worldwide are tracking the geomagnetic field. For instance, the European Space Agency's SWARM mission is a constellation of satellites designed to provide the most accurate data yet about Earth's magnetic field. These satellites allow scientists to monitor changes in real time, giving us a front row seat to the slow dance of our planet's magnetic field. Our technological society has also been preparing for these changes. Power grid operators, for instance, are aware of the potential impacts of geomagnetic storms and are developing strategies to mitigate their effects. This includes designing more robust systems and creating backup plans in case of severe disruptions. Moreover, while a full geomagnetic reversal may sound like something out of a science fiction novel, it's worth noting that our planet has gone through numerous such reversals in its long history. Life has continued to thrive through each of these changes, adapting and evolving in response to the shifting magnetic fields. The key takeaway here is that, while a geomagnetic reversal is a significant event, it is not an apocalyptic one. It is a slow, gradual process that we have the tools and the knowledge to monitor and adapt to. So, while a geomagnetic reversal is inevitable, it's not something that should keep us up at night. In the grand scheme of things, a geomagnetic reversal is just another blip in Earth's long history. This natural event, a flip in the Earth's magnetic fields, has taken place multiple times throughout our planet's past. The science behind it is fascinating, a complex interplay of molten iron and magnetic forces deep beneath our feet. The potential impacts of such a reversal are vast, from affecting migratory patterns of birds to causing disruptions in our technology-driven world. Yet it's important to remember that these changes won't happen overnight. As for our readiness, it's a mixed bag. While our technological infrastructure may face challenges, our ability to adapt and innovate gives us the chance to prepare. We've weathered changes before, and there's no doubt we can do it again. So rest easy, knowing that even if North becomes South, we've got time on our side to adjust and adapt.